this video might not go anywhere, but I hope enough people will understand what the man is trying to say. What Leopold did, 20, 25 million people killed in Congo, hands chopped off and chocolate bars made in the form of hands. And the Belgians will be eating chocolates to celebrate the death of the Africans. When I get into the, into the atro atrocities of the European and colonial system, particularly the slave trade and the Congo um, uh, genocide, I actually get upset because you cannot have two million Jews who die in Germany and you coin up words, anti-Semitism, anti-what, anti-what, to protect the Jews. And you look over your shoulder, you have more than 100 million blacks who have died and have been killed. And there's no one who has come up with a concept of anti-black. And Jews are allowed to celebrate. And if you say anything against the Jews, then you are labeled as anti-Semitic. But can't black people do the same thing? We don't have control over the system that narrates this story. Two million Jews die. Hitler is the most horrible man. Leopold kills 20 million Africans. And he's still not the most worst man that ever lived. Can you process that? Hitler kills two million white people. He's the most evil man that ever lived. Leopold kills 20 million Africans. He still does not appear on the list of the most wicked people that ever lived on the earth. There must be something wrong with this narrative. Totally something wrong with that narrative. It can be right by day, by night, by numbers, by mathematics, by ethnography. It cannot be right that the whole world watches the massacre of black people and says nothing. I think there's disparity right there. That someone is not being honest about the authenticity of history and the dignity of human life. And if this is true, that 2 million Jews are much more important than 20 million Africans, then maybe we're on the wrong continent where value of human life must be equal. The value of life should be equal. No atrocity should be deemed as worthy or unworthy of remembrance or reconciliation by groups other than the ones that have historically experienced said atrocity. My content is centered around critically thinking and juxtaposing things that have happened in society with respect to the black community, engulfed in the expressed intent to uplift the black community. This is not about hate. This is not about anti-anybody or anti-anything. All myself and others are saying is that the value of black lives in the eyes of these systems has been repeatedly shown to be 